Okay, so this is where it is pretty nice, very comfy. It's a warm, warm-ish, neutral, orangey brown, which is pretty cool. Looks good on very fair, pale, pasty faces like me. Teeth test. Since it is orange tones, it does bring out the yellowy bits. Not bits, but like yellowy tones to people who don't have perfectly white teeth. Uh, but I, don't know. I like it. That's very nice. What do you think? Okay, so this is Tomboy. Um, this is actually the color that I really, 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 really wanted out of the whole collection. It is very comfortable. And I love it. Oh my gosh, it's nice. The tone I thought would be a little bit more green because it looks a little bit more green online, but it's more of a gray, olivey color, which is pretty good and it doesn't make my teeth look terribly yellow. Yeah, I like it, I like it a lot. I think this may, uh, you know, triumph overall, but I haven't swatched the other two. So let me take this off and then let's get back to swatching instead of jumping to conclusions, because that's bad. Okay, so this is Mural. It's a little thicker than the other two, but it is still creamy, still applies pretty well, doesn't get on the teeth, which is nice. Uh, it also doesn't look as, like, orangey. Like, cause you know some lipsticks that are orange bring out all of the warm undertones in your teeth? This surprisingly doesn't. And it kind of matches my hair. <gasps> monochrome, monochrome. Next swatch. So this is 1969. It is a pale peachy orangey color. It was a little drier as far as formulation goes. And I'm not sure how I like it on my skin tone. I mean, I don't know. I thought I would like it based on pictures. I was gonna pick up this in Tomboy instead of getting the whole bundle, but I was like, yeah, let's do the whole thing. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like this shade? Do not. I keep looking in the viewfinder, I'm sorry, but. Do you like the shade? It would be a nice spring summery shade on somebody probably with a different undertone. Like a cooler undertone would probably look better. Uh, or someone who is very, very deep complected. This would probably look amazing on. So this is 1969. Okay, so a little bit more about the lipsticks. They come in Melt Cosmetics Standard packaging, which is a cardboard box that has gloss embellishments that say Melt Cosmetics, and there's a big flat matte melts thing, and it's got the 
name of the shade and it's got the ingredients and the barcode and it's made and distributed by Melt Cosmetics in the USA. Each lipstick is 4.05 grams or 0.14 ounces. So the amount of product is, ooh, yes. This is the much, this is how much product you get in the tube. There's a little bit down in there, but probably about to here is how much you get for the price of $19 a piece or $64 for the set of four. As far as comfort goes, they're a lot more comfortable than the first set of Melt Matte lipsticks that I bought, uh, which were uh, Blitzed and Blow, which are really crazy colors, but they were a little bit more drying. These are not as dry. The formula is a lot creamier. I like it a lot. Dana and Laura did really good on the formula. And it is what it says, it's unconventional nudes. They're nude-ish tones, but, or nude-ish kind of, you know, I guess tones would work, but they're in like orangey, or this is more of a grayish green. I wouldn't say they're full matte, but they're mostly matte. And they're very comfortable, and I like it. Do you like it? And they're really pretty, I think that, I'm glad that I bought the bundle. The only one that I really didn't like was the last one, 1969, just because it was a little bit more dry as far as application goes, and the color didn't flatter my very pasty pale skin tone. Okay, so if you have any more questions about these lipsticks or if you already have this collection, tell me what your favorite is out of the four in the comments below. I like hearing from you guys. It's fun and yeah. If you'd like to know what I got on my oh, on my face other than the lips, I'll have it listed below. I did it as a live stream on Instagram. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram. I put up stuff sometimes and I do live streams. Uh, other than that, I'm on YouTube, obviously, and Twitter, which is fun, and Facebook, which I don't touch, but I have one, and I have a blog that more pretty pictures of these lipsticks will be going up on. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, I'm sorry. Um, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to this channel. This is my first uh, lipstick swatch video thing and hopefully it went okay. So yeah, I will have a poll in the info cards if I should do more lip swatch videos because I don't know, as a beauty blogger, I don't really feel comfortable doing lip swatch videos because I'm very insecure about my teeth. There, I said it. If you'd like to see more videos from me, let me know what you wanna see in the comments below. You know, I like hearing from you guys. I know I've said this before, but I like hearing from you guys and you need to tell me what you wanna see. Know that I think you are awesome and I love you guys so, 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 so much. Bye. Don't forget to stay positive and be awesome because you, you're awesome. True story. Yep.
swear, I can't do anything because he'll start like, you know, chewing on bones. This is why I record in the middle of the night when they're both asleep. But anyway, um, so this is 1969. I thought I would like it more based on pictures. Charlie, Charlie, stop. You're like an annoying toddler sometimes. Please stop. Please stop. Looks like that.